This video will show you how you can time the slides of your keynote presentation. Hi, I'm Lori Thayer, author and creator of LoriThayer.com and contributing author to Lifehack.org. The purpose of this video is to show you how to time the slides of your keynote presentation. First, we'll talk about why you might want to do this. Second, who is this useful for? And third, I will show you how. So first off, why would you want to time the slides of your keynote presentation? It might be because you just don't want to hassle with remembering when you have to click. <laughs> You've got a big, big presentation coming up, coming up and you want it all to go smoothly. Secondly, you might be adding audio to your presentation and wanting to make sure that the audio for each track in the slide runs a certain length that's matched up. And thirdly, so that you can have audio and slides match up that you then export as a movie. So, who is this useful for? I don't know, just about anybody. <laughs> Parents, teachers, business people, internet marketers. Most of us find one reason, you know, now and then that we want to do a presentation or we have to do a presentation, right? And most of the time we're a little bit nervous about it. We want to make sure it goes off well. So using Keynote, which is a Mac application, so if you're on a PC, this is not your solution. So if we want to make sure it goes well, you know, we can get it all perfected ahead of time and have the timing down right so that we don't have problems during the actual presentation. My main purpose in learning how to do this was so that the timing would all be correct when I exported it from Keynote as a movie. And I'll show you that in a later slide. So let's move right on to the how. As you can see, I already have my Keynote open and I have added an audio track to each slide. If you're wondering how to do that, you can check my other videos. I created that video for you as well. So we want to bring up the inspector and we're going to go to the slide icon right here. Now we're going to want to transition automatically for the timing and we want the timing here on delay to be the same time as our track, right? Well, it could be that you want it longer. I actually want it the same because I don't want there to be silence. You may want to leave space for yourself to talk, you know, over the music or the audio track to add something or to answer questions. Your choice. So I set it to 11 seconds. Note I used these up and down arrows. Keynote does not seem to like it when you just simply type in the box. So use the arrows. <laughs> this one we will also do start transition automatically and I'm going to make it shorter. Now you will notice when I play the audio will start right away. After lunch, the raft team continued again and actually started. And I actually started playing from the second slide. So it started that slide and that audio, which was great. So that is how you turn the slides of your keynote presentation. And again, this may help you just you don't have to worry. You have everything figured out ahead of time. Big presentation is coming up, you don't have to worry about it or you may be like me and you want to time specific audio tracks to a slide so that you can then later export it as a movie and have everything lining up correctly. And this is useful for teachers, business people, anybody who wants to create an online video using keynote and um, audio, be it voice or music. And Lastly, the how. I showed you how to use the slide and the start transition with the delay, making sure you match your delay up at a minimum to the audio you have on here. So good luck timing the slides of your keynote presentation. Let me know how it goes in the comments below.